Hello and thanks so much for joining us for News 5 at 6. I'm Diane Derby. We're starting with the 80th anniversary of D-Day. It was a day that changed the course of history forever. The largest group of allied forces ever assembled, led by the American service members, pushed across the west, across that is, the western coast of France, engaging in a fierce battle with German troops. 3,000 U.S. soldiers, sailors, and pilots died in just the first 24 hours of the D-Day invasion. Their sacrifice and that of so many others over the next several months is seen now as the start to the end of World War II. Today, the 4th Infantry Division at Fort Carson memorialized the U.S. soldiers who lost their lives that day. News 5's Lindsay Jensen takes us to the ceremony. The 4th Infantry Division at Fort Carson placed this wreath, saying in memory of our fallen soldiers. Welcome to the 80th anniversary D-Day commemoration ceremony here at Fort Carson, Colorado. For Vietnam War veteran Charles Watkins and his wife Donna, this ceremony is personal. I had four uncles go ashore in the first wave on Normandy. And uh, it's just very heartbreaking. Charles tells me memorials like this help keep the significance of this day from getting lost in history. And paying the proper tribute to those who gave their their ultimate, you know, for for the defense, for the freedoms that we have in this country, and uh, so it's. I think these kind of ceremonies help to, at least the younger crowd, maybe, to remember. We hope. At the ceremony, Fourth ID soldiers demonstrated a similar attack from the D-Day landings. Once the LOA is reached, the platoon will pull security and prepare for possible counterattack. These soldiers honoring those who fought. 80 years ago. And I'll support and defend. defend. 12 soldiers reaffirmed their oath of commitment to protect our country. I'm confident that our D-Day veterans would be proud to see these soldiers carry forward their legacy. About 100 military personnel, families, and community members gave a moment of silence here at the World War II Memorial at Manhart Field for D-Day. In Fort Carson, I'm Lindsay Jensen, News 5.